After taking a beating from back-to-back -back hurricanes, some neighbors in Shore Acres are putting their homes up for sale at a reduced price. And this isn't the first time homeowners in that area have been forced to part ways with their properties. News Channel 8's Georgia MacArthur joins us now live in Shore Acres with more on how these storms are forcing people to make those tough decisions. Georgia. Stacey and Paula, the Shore Acres community is no stranger to flooding. And after the one-two punch, the resident who lives here says he's had enough. He's selling his home for lot value and as is. The devastation from back-to-back -back hurricanes has hit Shore Acres hard. I've lived in the neighborhood since 1986. I've seen many storms. I've been through several flooding events. Uh, Helene was probably, not probably, but definitely um, more flooding than I've ever seen. Kevin Batdorf, a real estate broker, says the flooding affected over 80% of homes this time around, leaving residents questioning whether they can stay, which is also why he says this home that sits on Indianapolis Street is for sale as is. A life-ending disease. Uh, he's going to stay in Portugal. He doesn't have much time left and he called and asked if I could sell his property. For this homeowner whose property flooded out, he is selling for lot value, a term when the house isn't worth restoring, but the land still holds its value. If you calculate the amount they're selling their property for plus the insurance amount, it may not make them whole, but it's not strictly lot value that they're selling for. For many homeowners, selling has become the only option after yet another destructive storm season. Flood shock is real, and it's scary. And homeowners say, and homeowners say the hope is for buyers who have the wherewithal to rebuild and elevate these homes to get out of harm's way for the future flooding. Stacy, I think Georgia, though, that begs the question: How many people are interested in these homes when they know the risk of flooding there? Well, the homeowner told us he has two pending offers on this home, so there are still buyers out there who are willing to take the gamble since Shore Acres is still such a very desirable place to live. It is a good location. Georgia MacArthur live in Shore Acres. Thank you.